Hello everyone! Today we're going to be going over some more things about the Galactic Season System that was added to Star Wars The Old Republic. This isn't going to be a traditional guide, instead I'm going to give you a quick overview of how it works and then we're going to be going through a large list of questions that players often ask about Galactic Seasons as the system itself is not extremely clear. Once all of the bugs have been fixed with the system, I will be making a proper condensed guide. But in the meantime, let's go. So the first thing you need to know is how do you open Galactic Seasons? You can get to it here, or you can get to it here. What is Galactic Seasons? Galactic Seasons is do stuff, get rewards. But most importantly, it's on a track. And you can see that track here in the Galactic Seasons panel, and it's on a timer. It's only going to be available for five months total. Unfortunately, the date for that timer is not available anywhere in game. So how do I know what rewards I can get? They are listed in each level of the track. To go up the levels, you earn points by doing objectives. As you can see, I've got 76 points so far that I've earned from doing objectives. And if I wanted every single reward in the game all the way to level 100, I would need a total of 800 points. So the important thing to know is that each level is worth 8 points. So you can see how close you are to the next one simply by looking at your points right here. How do you know which objectives you can do? So there are two different types of objectives. Here's daily and weekly. I just got one of the bugs that opens my galaxy map instead of my objectives. Okay, anyways, they're available on the conquest tab. To more easily view them, you can click uh, these objectives right here. Normally they should open up correctly. This is why we're not making a full guide. Um, and you'll see PO in the name for priority objective. So you should, if you're lucky, if, if things are working as intended, have two daily objectives right here and two weekly objectives. Uh, for example, today I got a, week, a daily objective of run a galactic starfighter match and a daily of complete five daily missions on OSIS. So pretty cool, uh, pretty simple. The problem is, what do you do if you get one you don't like? For example, oh, maybe I really don't like Galactic Starfighter. That's a lie, I love it. Um, I could use this refresh button. You can refresh your dailies once a day by clicking this button, and it'll give you another random one from the pool of objectives. There's only about eight different random ones, and you're already seeing two of them right here. And then there's the weekly ones, which you can refresh once a week. So I got Galactic Starfighter, complete four matches, and I got uh, run three of these uh, flashpoints listed. So if I didn't like it, I can refresh it. But I have to choose wisely, because if I didn't like my other one too, I can't refresh that. So when you're refreshing, you can do your dailies once a day and your weeklies once a week, so choose wisely. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the objectives are bugged, and you'll be able to use that same refresh button to refresh if, uh, if you happen to get a bugged one. So each of these weeklies is worth a certain amount of points, and each of the dailies is worth a certain amount of points, and then they will show up in your Galactic Seasons panel right here as you complete them. And it'll say, check mark, yes, you completed one daily, check mark, yes, you completed your second daily. You're done for today. Players often ask, is this per server or per fact, uh, per character, per server, per account? How does that work? So uh, Galactic Seasons is tied to your server or rather to your legacy. So if my goal, my priority objective is to do OSIS missions, I can do that on my trooper and my uh, assassin and my Imperial agent and they'll all count towards the same track. However, if I go to a different server, um, I will still see my progress as zero out of five. So this can be both a boon and a detriment. So on the good side, it means you can actually go earn more rewards on a different server, especially those Galactic Seasons tokens you may have seen floating around. The bad part is uh, if you're a completionist, you're gonna have to do this multiple times on multiple servers, though I do not, do not recommend this at all. So on the Galactic Seasons panel, you'll notice there's also the ability to unlock um, as you move up the track. So these ones, these levels 
uh, one through five, I have earned by doing the objectives. But uh, let's say there's a specific reward that I really wanted right now, or if I'm near the end of the season and I'm not gonna have enough time to catch up, which is math you can actually do based on the number of points. And we'll talk a little more about that later. Uh, you can unlock levels. So there's two ways to unlock levels. The first is with cartel coins. It costs, I believe, a flat 100 cartel coins per level. Um, so the whole thing would cost 10,000 cartel coins to unlock, kind of insane. And however, there will be an option later in the season to start unlocking levels with credits. However, we do not know the exact cost, the mechanics, how far you'll be able to unlock, who will be able to unlock, we know nothing. The only thing we know is that uh, the probable date for this becoming available is May 27th, but I don't even have a guarantee on that. It's kind of a, kind of a guess based on what the developers have said. Um, so that's the basics of how does Galactic Seasons work. The rewards are on here. There's another reward vendor uh, where you can spend these Galactic Seasons tokens. And that is on the supply section of the fleet. Um, there's a free track and a subscribers track. A lot of players ask if I'm a free to play player or a preferred player and I grind my way to level 50 or 100 or whatever and then I subscribe. Do I get all my subscriber rewards I missed out on? Yes. Um, you will retroactively gain any subscriber rewards you earned. You did not like lose out on them by not being subscribed while you earned them. You're good to go. So now we're going to go through a huge list of questions that players ask. I'm basically going to be reading out a guide that you can find on satrisa.com. That's a, basically a Q&A. So here we go. How many points per day or per week can I earn? So you can make two daily objectives per day and two weekly objectives per week. We already covered that a little bit uh, with our little daily and weekly ones and the ones you can do are covered right here. Objectives will grant you three points as a subscriber or only two points if you're free to play for daily ones. And weekly objectives will earn you 12 points each as a subscriber or eight points each as free to play or preferred. Uh, on top of that, on top of that, you also can get some kind of free points from your login rewards. Um, and that's on the same panel as Galactic Seasons. Oh my goodness, I keep having ground shake in the background. <laughs> login rewards here. Um, and it'll tell you, you logged in one day a week, you logged in a second day this week. If you log in four times total this week, you'll get a nice little bundle of Galactic Seasons points. And for subscribers, that's eight points. And preferred and free to play, that's four points. So that means as a subscriber, you can earn a maximum of 74 points per week total. And free to play and preferred players can earn a maximum of 48 points per week total. Since each level requires eight points, you can get about nine levels per week as a subscriber or six as a free to play or preferred player if you're doing every objective. On the first day you play Galactic Seasons as a subscriber, if you grind it, it's, it's not too hard for one day's worth of work, you can get two dailies and two weeklies done for a total of 30 points or three levels worth of points. As a free to play or preferred player, you can still get 20 points the first day. So the answer to, can I get that cool companion on day one? Yes, as long as you do the objectives, otherwise you'll get it fairly quick because the companion is the very first level's reward right here. And you, if you're a subscriber, you also get this super cool Batmobile <laughs> mount. So uh, a lot of players then ask, what about getting all the rewards? So on the track to reach level 100 as a subscriber, you can do it in about 10 weeks of a total of the 20 weeks that are available during a season because each season is about five months long. So you'll need to complete roughly half of the objectives. It's kind of hard to do the math because it depends, like, are you logging in to do the login rewards where you don't actually have to do anything? Are you grinding out the weeklies because they're worth more than the dailies? Stuff like that. Um, next up is uh, to reach level 100 as a free to play or preferred player. You still need the same 800 points total to reach rank 100 and you still have the same five months to do it 
but you earn points a lot slower. So you can earn 48 points per week max. So you could reach that 800 points at around week 17. And there's only 20 weeks available. So it's like, oh my God, if you're free to play, yes, you could do it, but you're gonna grind. You're gonna be going hard. <laughs> the important thing to keep in mind before you go crazy is if you start late, it is okay. You can start now and unlock what you missed out on near the end with cartel coins or credits, whether you're a subscriber or preferred or free to play. The only problem is we don't know the exact mechanics of how to unlock with credits yet. So it makes things very complicated. We don't know if say you can only unlock X amount of levels, if you can only start at a certain point, if maybe free to play will be locked out of it. We don't know for sure, but I'm assuming it should be okay. Hey, here's the next question players often ask. Why do I feel I keep getting the same objectives every day? Each week, the objectives pull from a random pool, a small pool of objectives. There's about eight different daily objectives and four different weekly objectives in each pool. So when you receive two weekly objectives, you've already seen half of all the available <laughs> options. And some of the options are repeated across multiple weeks or are very similar. For example, this week might request that you do Alderaan Heroics, while next week might request Balmora Heroics. The pools run in a cycle, so if you really, really hate uh, the objectives you got right now, you can wait for the dailies to refresh tomorrow, or you can wait until next week where the entire pool will be different, if only slightly different. So if you want to actually see these pools, I've got them available on Sutteresa.com, or you can uh, search online for Sutteresa Galactic Seasons Guide, and uh, there's actually a list of each of the different pools and the potential objectives in them. So maybe that'll help you uh, decide for this next question. What do I do if I don't like my objectives for today or for this week? So once again, you can refresh with that refresh button right here. It'll be uh, Galactic Seasons. And then you'll open up your daily or weeklies. And then once you click one, you can refresh it. Uh, the dailies, you can pick one to refresh per day. And the weeklies, you can pick one to refresh per week, which I already did. So my little refresh button is missing. What do I do if my objectives are bugged and won't work? There's a lot of them! Unfortunately, a lot of the objectives are not working. If you get one that's not working, you can refresh the objective and hope to get the one that works. Otherwise, there's no fix. You're just out of luck. Bower's not being on top of fixing these is not very impressive. And I'm sorry, you got a bugged objective. I have gotten plenty as well. Um, so what is bugged? Um, so there was already one patch called 6.3.a that fixed some of the earliest ones, but there's still a ton, a ton that are broken. Um, and I'm, we're hoping 6.3.b will come soon and fix these. But um, in short, this whole system was rushed. It was not tested well. It was not proofread or whatever you want to say that would be quality controlled for video games. Um, and next week or next every week we're gonna have more finding out that aren't working unfortunately because we'll have a whole new set to work from so here we go here's the big ones sometimes when you refresh an objective you don't get a new objective sometimes when you refresh an objective you get a previously completed objective so you can't gain points from it Sometimes when it's the next day or week and you're supposed to have two new daily objectives or weekly objectives, you either get a completed one or it's just missing entirely. They are aware of these. There isn't a fix yet and I don't think there's a, um, a, a fix 100% planned yet. Uh, sometimes you get this section X objective, which uh, free to play can't access. For the most part, free to play won't get operations and stuff like that. But this one, uh, section X requires an unlock which most free-to-play won't have. I don't know if that's a bug or intended. I'm assuming a bug based on the other ones. Sometimes you get a daily mission to do Rishi dailies, and it says something about sex and X, Section X in the text, but no matter what, this objective is just broken. So you're going to have to refresh it or <laughs> wait for tomorrow. Um, a lot of the kill X enemies are broken. Um, there's just a ton that are broken. Some got fixed. Some are still broke. Um... Sometimes when you click the objectives button on the Galactic Seasons page, it opens your galaxy map. We actually got that at the beginning of this stream. Go us. 
Sometimes when you click the objectives button, uh, sorry, I reread that. Uh, some of the tracking, um, there's the ability to track your objectives, which is really nice. So, uh, I'm going to refresh this one and see if I can get one to show you guys. Ah, here we go. Uh, defeat enemies. And these are the ones that are often bugged. But regardless, there's this really cool thing where you can track it by checking this button here or checking this button here. Because it's 0 out of 75 enemies. And when you check that, a little button will show up above your minimap on the bottom right. And if you open it, it's like a trophy. It'll, uh, I've got too much stuff open. <laughs> It'll show you a little tracker. Now the trackers are also, once again, not well done. And they don't always work or aren't very clear about what you're supposed to do. Um, so there's a bunch of those that the tracking is incorrectly written. Like it'll say something else. Follow the actual objective on here, not whatever it says here. Um, let's see, let's see. Any other important ones? Right, another important one that players often ask about is retired companions. Um, they've heard, oh, I heard I could get Nico Car. I heard I could get Master Ranos. I heard I could get XYZ um, companion. So it's going to be Shea Vizsla, Nico Car, Master Ranos, and Paxton Rao the Pirate will be available through Galactic Seasons. Those uh, little tokens you can get. You can spend them on uh, companions. I think they range from four tokens to five uh, to six tokens. I can't remember exactly. Uh, all the rewards are listed on Um And Nico Car was available for a short time. The idea was that they would rotate in and out which one is available over the course of a month or a little over a month for each one. But they were broken, so they removed them from the vendor so no one else would buy them and have a broken companion that they couldn't actually access. So it's good that it was removed. Um, hopefully they'll be able to fix that soon. And uh, Nico Carr, maybe they'll put him up for a little longer period so you can get him if you wanted him as well. Okay, so here's a, here's one I'm not going to answer in full. But I'm going to direct you to Sotrisa.com and the Galactic Seasons article. This will be in there. Um, how do I get into story mode operations as they're one of my objectives for the week? So a lot of players are encountering operations for the first time through Galactic Seasons and don't understand that uh, it's, a, it's a whole thing. It's a thing of its own. Um, there's no requirements except to be level 70 to enter story mode operations and be subscribed to the game, but they have a huge time commitment. So it can be anywhere from an hour to two hours that you have to commit. And uh, more importantly, uh, you need to have a level of skill with your character that you should meet before you enter operations. You don't have to be a top tier player, but you do need to understand some basic stuff. Um, my general rule of thumb is understand where your interrupt is, understand where your shields and defensives and healings are, and if you're a tank, you need to know taunt and threats. Um, a really good site that I like is MerlinSotor.com. Look up your class and kind of, you don't have to look through the gear and stuff so much, but take a look at your rotation and uh, that will be a really good start of understanding your class. And if you have a little more time, go through your abilities list in game with the P button. Um, so I'll show you. P. Oh my God, it's going to crash my game, isn't it? <laughs> It's because I have every mountain pet in the game. It doesn't like that. <laughs> um, so you can hover over these and read them. And uh, if you don't want to do this in game, I actually have a resource, uh, Satorista Class Guides Basics. I don't really have a link to this anywhere on the site, but if you Google that, I have these and they're really great. They're not, they don't necessarily tell you how to play, but they will tell you um, what do each of your abilities do? So it's a lot easier to learn this way. They're all kind of breaking down. Like, for example, on my trooper, it'll tell me, hey, these are your defensive abilities in an emergency. Real simple kind of thing. Um, all right. Next up is... Uh, so, and then the next question people ask is, okay, I'm, I'm there, I've got the basics of my class down, how do I, how do I find a group for operations? And that I've broken down also on satrisa.com in the Galactic Seasons article, because it's not use the group finder. That is not the answer. <laughs> but it's, uh, what the game tells you to do. 
Next up, how much does it cost to unlock the trap with credits or cartel coins instead of completing objectives? So with credits, we don't know the answer yet. Um, here's what the devs said on a recent post. As mentioned in Galactic Seasons article, as the seasons progresses, a catch-up system will unlock, allowing players to spend in-game credits to catch up on season levels. Meaning the catch-up feature is not available yet, or it's not active yet. We intend on enabling this mechanic in 30 days to give players a full chance to experience Galactic Seasons. So the credits mechanic will come out on May 27th, if I did the math right, which I can't always promise that I do. I'm leaving this place. I'm leaving this place that's just ground shake. No, you know what? Let's... Let's get it, get it, get it, get it. Ground shake, ground shake. Where is ground shake, guys? <laughs> I don't even see it on here. I can't remember where it is. Oh, GSF camera shake, global camera shake, goodbye. No more of this. So we don't, uh, we really have no knowledge about anything to do with the credits. That's literally all we know. We don't know how much it will cost. We don't know if it will be a flat rate like the cartel coins or if it will be incremental or like <laughs> exponential. Um, we don't know if you'll be able to unlock every level or just a certain amount. Like we know nothing. We know nothing. So please don't ask me any questions. It makes me very upset that I don't know it, the answer. <laughs> okay, but about cartel coins, we do have a full knowledge. So I showed you earlier we do have uh, the ability to unlock the track all the way, all the way up to 10,000 for level 100. You can do it right there. And uh, the price goes down as you unlock more levels. So for example, it's showing me, um, since I'm at rank, I'm at rank nine now, it minuses out 900 coins from the total price. So if you complete some seasons and then go unlock level 100, it'll be cheaper. So it's a flat 100 cartel coin fee for each level you want to unlock. So if you're at level 0 and want to jump all the way up, it's 10k. Um, and then it minuses out for every level you've completed naturally or or unlocked with cartel coins earlier. So just so uh, one of the questions I had was, uh, oops, if I wanted to go to all the way to, to, to 100, will I get a, will it be more expensive if I like unlock to level 10 first and then later went to 10 to 100? No, it's fine. You can do it in any order. It'll cost the same amount, um, same discount or whatever you want to say. So here's the important part. I do not, <laughs> I do not recommend unlocking the track with cartel coins. But here's the numbers, just so you're aware of what you're getting into and there's no, uh, no mystery about it. If you decide to get the 10,000 CC to unlock the track to full, like I said, you'll get a discount if you complete some of the levels naturally. It'll cost approximately between $60 to $80 USD. And that depends on whether you buy the 5,500 cartel pack at 40 bucks or the 14,500 cartel pack at $100. Um, you will have some of your cartel coins returned as you rank up partway through the ranks and claim rewards. Like if you'll notice at, uh, let's go to level like 10. So at level 13, I get a free uh, 200 cartel coins, and I believe, is it um, 4,000 cartel coins you get back? Or is it 6,000? Chat. It's something like that, but you'll get some back. So if you wanted, you could unlock part of the track, get cartel coins, and then use them to unlock more. I haven't really done the math on that. Okay, so it is 4,000 that you'll get back if you got all the way up to the, uh, to the end. So you might want, if you're planning to do this, which I don't recommend, um, I would check out buying, uh, do the math on the 5,500 cartel pack at 40 bucks, and then see how many cartel coins you would get um, by unlocking 5,500s worth of, of levels. So 55 levels, I think. So, because it depends on where you're at currently. Okay, so... When, if you decide to go all the way to 100 with cartel coins, um, or this will probably apply to credits later, uh, you will receive all the rewards on the track, as long as you're also subscribed. It's because the bottom ones are subscriber only. But, you will still only receive a maximum of 15 tokens, like all other players who unlocked it all the way to 100 naturally. So, even if 
you pay 10,000 cartel points to unlock the entire track, you will still not be able to afford all the items on the retired rewards vendors, even if you unlock the entire track, even if you spent that 60 to 80 dollars, okay? So let's be 100% clear about that. You will not get all the rewards on the vendor, even if you dump money into the game. <laughs> you still gotta pick and choose. And don't forget, if you're patient, you will be able to unlock the entire track for credits. As far as we know, we just don't know the exact numbers yet. It'll likely be more economical or affordable than doing it with credits. Just because that's how the entire game works. So purchasing the track early is only a good option if you know you will not be available during the last weeks of the season and won't be able to earn the rewards or purchase them with credits. For example, if uh, you'll be no access to the internet, maybe you're getting posted overseas or you're moving or you have finals or whatever. Um, that's a really good reason to unlock it with cartel coins, I think, or uh, maybe with credits. Uh, but the credits option might not be available at that point. I don't know. Um, otherwise, uh, this option, the option to unlock with cartel coins, is mainly for players who say, I want my rewards and I want them now. I've actually met um, a surprising amount of players who did that. They either unlocked to 100 or they unlocked to um, the stronghold. Um, even though I'm like, you'll, you'll be able to earn these, like, without, as long as you're playing actively, you'll be able to get these, or you'll be able to get them with your credits you have hoarded up. Um, some of them just wanted the rewards, I think is the main reason. Um, I haven't heard anyone say they wanted it for, like, a prestige, or, like, uh, as an award, or anything like that. A lot of people really wanted level 69, which is where you get the stronghold, because, uh, right now, I'll be on a track to earn it. But I won't be able to get it for like three or four months and I can't decorate it until I get it. <laughs> so I think quite a few players uh, unlocked uh, to get the stronghold. And then I think a couple players uh, unlocked to 100 just because they liked um, the various rewards on the track. For example, a couple players have been, although he's probably not, not a fan favorite or anything, quite a few players do like the uh, Kubas and liked all his rewards that were on the track. However, I will say the cartel coin option seems very useful if you're very close to your favorite reward and don't want to wait. For example, you're like level 60 out of 69 or uh, if you're near the end and uh, you're running out of time because uh, they only cost 100 cartel coins each individually and you get 4,000 free cartel coins over time by running the track. So let's say I'm on the last week of galactic seasons. Um, I only made it to level 91. I would absolutely unlock that track with cartel coins if the credit option wasn't feasible. Absolutely. Mwah. Um, Partex on chat wants to know, can you receive all the achievements from Nico Car when you unlock him with the Galactic Seasons tokens? The answer is supposed to be yes, as the item that you get would be the same as the one you get from collections, but it's broken right now, uh, kind of how he works. So they took him off of the vendor. So hopefully he'll be added back and be functioning as intended. Okay, next question. Um, oh, okay. So the next question is technically, is Galactic Seasons per character per legacy per server? We already talked about that um, Galactic Seasons is shared across your entire server. But how can you take advantage of that uh, if you are uh, the kind of player who grinds a lot or the kind of player who... Uh, wants to dump like $500 into the game. Don't recommend! Just wanted to go over the options. Um, so you can only earn a total of 15 tokens on your server. That's it. There's there's no other options. However, if you go to a different server, for example, I'm on Starforge. I went to Satilshan and to test things out, I unlocked the entire track. And that gave me 15 tokens on Satilshan. Not useful for me at all if I wanted to unlock the stronghold on this server, because this character is the one who needs the tokens to unlock it. But there are a lot of promotional items you may have uh, missed out on over the years. Uh, for example, one of the ones that I really want is a jetpack. Jetpack. Uh, HK55's jetpack that I didn't get because I wasn't subscribed at the time. I wanted to save my tokens on my main server, uh, for things that I could only get here, like the Stronghold. The Stronghold you cannot transfer over in any capacity. We wasted a character transfer trying to figure that one out. But if there are any of those promotional rewards you want that are also available in collections, which is almost all of them, to be honest, um, 
You can earn them on a separate server or buy them with the cartel coin level unlocks on a separate server. And so uh, a free way you could get that uh, jetpack would be uh, let's uh, let's consult our our chart real fast here. So my chart says. I get a token at one, two, three, and four. So if I wanted that HK jetpack, uh, if I was willing to grind it out on a different server as well as my main one, if I got to level 34, I would get uh, the required amount of tokens, go buy the jetpack from the vendor on another server, and then pay the very small cartel coin purchase to unlock it on my main server as well. So technically, you could earn 15 tokens on every server, and there are five servers, so five times 15 is 75, but in increments of 15. So you have to, you kind of have to plan it out, and I have a full list of all the rewards on sotarista.com. Um, some of them are only worth like one, one token, like some of the pets. I think those would be some great ones to grind out on other servers for free, because getting your first galactic token is pretty easy. Where does that pop up? So I do have a list of all of these on Galact uh, Galactic Seasons chart on Satrisa.com if you need it. So you get your first token at freaking level 5. And then you could hoard up uh, on your main server your tokens to the high level ones. Oh, what did I click? Oh, <laughs> Oops, I clicked it. I claimed it. I claimed the item. And a lot of players also ask, uh, where do my tokens go? They are going to be in your currency tab right here. I've also seen a bug where players are saying, no, they are not going in my currency tab. That is a bug. I don't know what the answer or I haven't heard them talking about it yet. So please go contact customer support about that one. Where is the vendor? Let's, uh, let's go show that real fast while I continue with my list. Oh no, what did I do? I forgot not to open my abilities tab, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and some of the pets are really cute. And they only cost one. Like I said, full list of rewards and the when you get the tokens is on sotarista.com. Uh, where's next on our list? How can I claim a reward on multiple characters or servers? Yeah, so, um... The way the rewards on the track work is you get them the first copy on the character that you press the claim button on. So for example, whatever I just pressed that went into that character's inventory. However, a lot of the rewards, for example, all the weapons, all the armors, the mount, um, you can actually unlock pretty much everything except I think the companion gifts and the decorations in collections. So you go cartel coin symbol, collections, and then where's uh, let's go into galactic seasons uh this is the really sweet mount you get at level one you'll only get one copy on your character initially the one that you claim it on but let's say you had two characters or on your two characters that wanted it you can go into collections find them out and then you pay a whole 10 cartel coins and unlock it across your entire account. And this actually counts for, uh, this will count for my trooper, my imperial agent, my sith assassin, and it'll also count for any characters I make in the future and any characters on other servers. Okay, um, let's go show you guys where the vendor is. So you go to the Republic or Imperial fleet, you need to head to the supplies section. Which I'm not there yet. Um, another big question players ask is when can I get this new stronghold? So this new stronghold called the Fleet Stronghold, there's an Imperial version and a Republic version on the fleet. They are separate, they are not like mirrors of each other. Um, you can get both, but not in one season because they cost eight tokens each. Which you can see right here, Carrick Station Penthouse Deed. Viken Space Dock Penthouse Deed. And they cost 8 tokens, but you can only earn 15 per server. So, you gotta pick one. And you'll be able to get your Stronghold at level 69. Nice. So here's the vendor. The first one is uh, Classic and Non-Seasonal Rewards. So these are the ones that are not necessarily related to Galactic Seasons. They are um, the Strongholds plus some old retired rewards from previous promotions and stuff like that. 
This guy is selling the Galactic Seasons ones. And as far as I can tell, um, these are all on the track already. I think the concept is if you're a free-to-play player or you didn't want to unlock stuff with, with cartel coins, I guess, for multiple characters, I don't know. You could get them from this vendor as well. So make sure to check on the track or on the website whether this is something that'll already be on the track and, and where. So collections are account-wide. So once you get a reward from Galactic Seasons, you can pay usually a very small amount. Like how much is this? This one's only 10 as well to unlock it across your entire account. But the actual completion of objectives is only shared within your specific server you're on between your characters that share a server. What's the next question? Oh my god. <sighs> uh, right. We are talking about those companions. Uh, Nico Akar, Shea Vizla, Master Ranos, and Paxton Ral. You can actually see them hanging out at the bar here. So it's not just speculation that they're going to be on the vendor. Uh, one of them is supposed to be on the vendor at any given time, but they are broken and temporarily removed. You can actually see some of the rewards just hanging out here. Like, look, there's a, there's HK's jetpack. There's Giant Revan's statue. These are the Galactic Seasons mounts. They're, they're actually pretty cute. Um, and I think... Uh, right. Can free to play and preferred play Galactic Seasons? Yes! <laughs> um, it'll take them longer to max it out, and you'll have to go a little harder, but they totally can. Does Galactic Seasons cost extra money, like a battle pass in other games? No! <laughs> it's included. You can either do it on the free track, or it's included as part of your... Uh, $15 a month SOTOR subscription that comes with all the other stuff. So the general idea of this uh, Galactic Seasons thing that they made and added is they wanted to give more value to subscribers because um, right now there's a subset of players who subs who subscribe to the month the game like once every six months and then never sub again. So they wanted to give some more something that was exclusive to subscribers that wasn't like operations or ranked pvp because a lot of players they just like mostly playing solo okay i think that is it for everything we know about galactic seasons we still have a lot of questions a lot of about credits a lot of questions about bugs a lot of questions about will these rewards be available next season but i hope that helped answer some of your questions we'll see you guys later Bye! And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, a Soterista's Emporium of Way Too Much Knowledge, if you want more Star Wars The Old Republic videos.